Hello everybody, I'm Digimon11, joined today with Sonic Wolf1498, blah 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 blah, Marcos, and today we're interviewing Nairman214 of Brain Scratch Comps. Hello, hello. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, how about you? Oh, we're doing, I'm doing good. good. Alright, so are you ready? Yeah, I'm good to go whenever you are. All right. Okay, so my question is, how did you first get into video gaming? Uh, it's something I was always kind of involved with since I was a real little kid. Uh, as long as I can remember, my family always had a Super Nintendo when I was little, so I pretty much always played it. Uh, my folks played a lot of uh, Miss Pac-Man in the arcade, so it's I guess it's a family thing at this point. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pac-Man is awesome. No, he said Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. It's the same Totally thing. different. Hey, yeah. I have Miss Pac-Man arcade. You should shut up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, my question. What led you to start Brain Scratch? Um, I had seen a lot of LPRs on uh, YouTube, and since I figured I was good at games and really liked them, I figured I could do something similar, and sure enough, it actually ended up working for me. Yeah, and did you ever imagine it would be this successful, even more popular than Hellfire? Not at all. I imagined it would go about uh, maybe a month or two. Maybe we would get about 10 subscribers and then it would kind of fall apart from there. Oh, kind of like <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, my question for you, Ryan, is how did you start off your uh, own channel? Uh, my own channel was just me uh, basically experimenting with the whole LPR stuff. It was me trying to... Uh, express myself a little bit, uh, get myself out there, be a bit more uh, vocal on how I am. I'm normally a very uh, shy and uh, reserved person, so uh, this was just me uh, trying out a way to uh, get myself out there a little bit. Are we going to do anything with your channel again? I really should at some point, yeah. Alright. So what's your favorite game? Hmm, that's a tough one. It kind of depends on my mood. It kind of varies between Melee, Ocarina of Time, Sonic 3, uh, Usually a good platformer is what I sit down to most. Understood. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, you want your ex? Let's go. Sure, sure. Um, uh, how does your schedule work with Brain Scratch? Like, do you like meet up or like talk like once a week, twice a week, or how does it go? Um, well, we kind of chat on and off just naturally because we're all good friends and all. But for Brain Scratch, we normally meet up once a week to do a whole batch of recordings and then. Once you've gotten far enough ahead, you might take a little bit of break to actually record the raw footage. Yeah, okay. Guys, we should probably take notes on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to be right now. There you go. Uh, so, how would you feel as if your commentary skills have improved over the years? Well, it's just gotten more natural. I mean, I loathe going back to our earliest stuff because it's just so stiff and unnatural it's just gotten a lot better it takes practice to get good at it and it has a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of just getting used to doing it you know you get the more you get used to anything the more comfortable you'll get with it so it becomes second nature huh. mm-hmm. which leads to my question what's your favorite commentary video that you did uh, I really like the Ocarina of Time stuff. I really like Resident Evil 4 just for how kind of random it was. Uh, but I think one of our best ones is the Ocarina of Time playthrough. That's probably my uh, favorite one so far. Yeah, that's that's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that leads into my next question. What's your least favorite commentary? Probably okay, first, be honest. <laughs> yeah, probably the first one we ever did just because it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... Hmm. That and I didn't play very well. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Helping one of us, but uh, okay. um, My next question here is: uh, Who's your biggest influence uh, on your channel or work in general? Well, obviously HSC was a big influence because I found them first, mostly through uh, Find the Computer Room, which I was hanging out at at the time. Uh, Chugger Conroy is a pretty big one. Uh, I watch a lot of Nintendo Capri Sun. A lot of those guys who kind of just do it more so for fun rather than doing live LPs in the whole face cam, doing new games sort of thing, just doing it because they love it, that sort of thing. Mm. All right. And since we're technically in a commentary group, is there any advice you can give us? Uh, just have fun with it. That will get through when you actually uh, post videos. Uh, don't worry too much about 
the logistics of things on YouTube itself. That'll sort of just come with uh, getting better at it. That'll come with uh, getting more people to recognize you. I mean, I'll certainly plug your stuff when uh, this goes up. So uh, it's it's all about just, you know, I hate to use the old adage. It's all about just kind of getting to know people, getting to uh, getting started and just finding your own kind of groove with it. And this is a technical question, but the, the way that you guys record, what, what do you guys use? Audacity? Yes, we use Audacity. How, how, I knew how, it. How did that work in the early days since I was told that you were the only one that was recording it? Uh, well, originally I was using a Skype recorder. Uh, but unfortunately that kind of stopped working and we needed a more uh, convenient way to record all of our audio. Yeah. So we u started using this method. It takes a bit more time to edit, obviously. And sometimes things can go wrong with any individual audacity. But this was a way to make sure all of our audio was of the highest quality while uh, also not putting too much of a load on our systems. Yeah. Alright. That's actually not a bad idea. We should probably do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, up to my question is, uh, Ryan, is what is your favorite color? Favorite color? Blue. <laughs> the fifth person <laughs> we interviewed. Favorite <laughs> blue color. <laughs> Congratula congratulations! Congratulations yeah. on Blue Zone comms. We have another person that likes blue. Hooray! Yeah. Marcos, why can't you be like him? Hey, red is awesome. Shut up. Mm. As gonna be a question that you've probably been getting all asked a lot, but what's your overall opinion on Sonic Boom? The reason why I ask is because during the commentary you were pretty silent. Uh, that was mostly because they were saying what I was going to say. Um, it's a very bleh game. It's boring. It's uninteresting. It doesn't have anything going for it. It's just kind of there. So I don't have much to say on the topic other than eh, it's just a game that exists. Even the, even the TV show comics, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't really read the comics. The TV show is actually quite good. See, uh, did he? He likes the TV show. Um, the, the TV show is like... <coughs> I really almost don't even consider it its own thing. I just consider it kind of like a uh, side thing, kind of like how the original uh, Sat AM or AOSTH kind of were. And I'm guessing you're going to have to pick up the Boom comics to read that crossover. Uh, maybe. I may just get the trades for the crossover and just leave it at that. <laughs> All right, Marcos. All right. Uh, my question is: Is uh, how were you introduced to the Sonic franchise? Since I know you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, that's a tough one because I don't really quite remember. I remember watching AOSTH and Sat AM back. Mm -hmm. The other system as well. So, and my reason was because of Sonic because I like platformers so much, and Sonic One, Two, and Three and Knuckles are such good games. I. Uh, kind of wanted to play them as much as I could, so that was kind of how I got introduced to Sonic. Oh, cool. Okay, well, that leads into my next question. Is, uh, what is your favorite 2D and 3D Sonic game? Sonic 3 and Knuckles and yes. SA2. <laughs> 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 That's no, Marcos hates SA2. I, for the love of God, did you stop mixing up words? I like SA2, I just think it's overrated. That's a lie. That is not a lie. I played that game two days ago. Shut up. <laughs> uh, you hate it so much. Why'd you play it? <laughs> I have to say, I don't hate it. I like it. I just think it's overrated. <laughs> but yet, yeah, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is his favorite 2D game, and that's overrated. <laughs> hey, it deserves that praise. Not a Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> You're getting blinded by nostalgia. Anyways, next question. Um, why is it that you don't post any new videos on your own channel? Uh, I don't have much to say on my own. That and, uh, the internet can be a cruel, cruel place sometimes, so it's just more of I'm sticking with brain scratch just to sort of, uh, stick with what I'm good at for now and just kind of keep my feet firmly planted. I'll try to get back to some more stuff soon. I do have a few ideas for things. It's more about just getting off my ass and getting to them. Right. And this yeah. is sort of connected to your old channel, but I noticed that you actually used to do reviews at one point. Uh, since I'm technically working on one right now, is there any advice you can give me? Take a lot of notes. 
Oh. You, will need, you will need them. <laughs> oh, trust me, I've taken so many notes, it's not even funny. <laughs> I'll give you a learn. Yeah, you... The only, sorry, the only thing, other thing I can say is learn when to cut things. You don't want to go too long, you don't want to be too long-winded, so just learn to be quick and concise in what you're trying to say. Yeah, right. What were you going to say, Marcos? I was going to say, how long are you, uh, is there, are you taking for that review, buddy? I'm technically done with the script. And now you gotta wait to get your own hot bug and record your own game play footage. Uh, uh, I'm kidding, man. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Alright, so that's pretty much done with my questions. Okay, uh, that'll lead into my question. Uh, besides the uh, Legends of Ocarina Time LP, uh, what is your. Uh, which video are you most proud of, whether it's your own channel or just from Brain Scratch in general? Hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, individual videos, I would have to say something along the lines of anything we'd put a lot of it edited in jokes for. I can't remember which one would have the most that kind of went over well. But anytime I just put in just random little things to add to the video, I feel are ones I really enjoy just because it always gets a good laugh out of everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, my next, well, this is actually this will be my last question: is uh, what does the future hold for you? Uh, that's hard to say because I'm still looking for work. That's kind of the problem right now. But as far as the future goes for BSC, uh, well, we have our uh, Momocon stuff coming up in the next few months, so we're going to be biding our time a little bit for that. And the live stuff always goes over well. As well as after that, we have two uh, very big RPGs coming. So hopefully you look forward to those. I'm going to take a wild guess and say one of them was Kingdom Hearts. You would be wrong, good sir. Damn. <laughs> well, yeah, I was, th I was thinking of probably going to Momocon this year. So if I do, oh, you will? Yeah. Nice. I hope to see you there. Yeah, yeah. Same. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I think that's pretty much the interview. Pretty short, but hey, it was something at least. But yeah. Thank yeah. you for your time. Hey, no problem. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, no problem.